Hello guys, this is Rich of Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. Let me first start the devotion guys. I'd like to shout out the Father Impressor channel na napunta rito at nag-join sa devotion natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to Pamilya Lagan channel na laging nagsishare ng link to Tinkerbell in that channel. Rito vlog, Monique Liamor, Saki Carion, Malik Salamada, Michael Aburita, Jamaica Remota, Heart Ponsalan, Yens TV, uh, Midnight Chain always online. Romil Ilkati and even to those who didn't join us during the premiere pero but still napunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotion. God bless us all guys. Kumusta ang Sunday natin guys? Sana we are happy together with our family. No? Huwag tayong magsawa na mag-spend time sa family natin kasi importante talaga yan. No? Sama-sama lang tayo. Let's always have a friendship together as a family kasi hindi natin alam pa ano ang mangyayari next year. Habang may time tayo ngayon, let's enjoy it together with the family. Our guys, let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to Isaiah chapter 44 verse 9 to 11 then verses 21 to 23. Still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the word used is to simplify it. Maintain the natin. Okay, so what I'm reading in the, the Bible is about the Lord, not idols. Okay, the word of the Lord in Isaiah chapter 44 verse 9 to 11 then to 21 to 23 says all who make idols are nothing and the things they treasure are worthless those who would speak up for them are blind they are ignorant to their own shame who shapes a god and cast an idol which can profit him nothing he and his kind will be put to shame craftsmen are nothing but men let them all come together and take their stand they will be brought down to terror and infamy. Okay, let's proceed to 21 to 23. It says, Remember these things, O Jacob, for you are my servant to Israel. I have made you. You are my servant to Israel. I will not forget you. I have swept away your offenses like a cloud, your sins like morning mist. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. Sing for joy, O heavens, for the Lord has done this. Shout aloud, O earth beneath. Burst in song and mountains, sea forest, and all your trees, for the Lord has redeemed Jacob, his displays, his glory in Israel. Amen and amen. All right, guys, let's now pray. <clears throat> Father God, teach us to put away idols in our hearts, oh God, and even some mga idols na we don't worship namin, oh God. But teach us to focus on Thee. Lord, like David, oh, his name later is Israel, you have blessed him so much, oh God. The promised mother, God, now you have to sweep away all her sins like clouds, oh Lord God, and that he also flourishes because like you. Because of you, oh God. Lord, teach us to do the same. Even though, God, as we are here listening for your word, we pray to please let the words grow in our heart that uh, na mag, it will be rooted in our heart that your word will grow and that it that would change us also, Lord, like you. Lord, thank you that we can commit all these sins to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Isaiah 44, verse 22, and it says, I have swept away your offenses like the morning mist. So the title of our devotion for this uh, evening, guys, is Morning Mist. One morning, I visited Pan near my house. I sat on an overturned boat, thinking and watching a gentle west wind chase a layer of his of mist across the water's surface. Wisps of fog circled and swirled 
many tornadoes rose up and then exhausted themselves. Before long, the sunlight cut through the clouds and the mist disappeared. This scene comforted me because I connected it with a verse I just read. I have swept away your offenses like a cloud. Your sins like the morning mist. I visited the place, hoping to distract myself from a series of sinful thoughts I'd been preoccupied with for days. Although I was confusing them, I began to wonder if God would forgive me when I repeated the same sin. That morning I know the answer was yes. Through his prophet Isaiah, God showed grace to the Israelites when they struggled with the ongoing problem of idol worship. Although he told them to stop chasing false gods, God also invited them back to himself saying, I have made you. You are my servant. I will not forget you. I don't fully grasp forgiveness like that, but I do understand that God's grace is the only thing that can dissolve our sin completely and heal us from it. I am thankful His grace is endless and divine, divine like He is, and that's it available whenever we need it. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, God is a God of many chances. We sin, nadapa tayo, but if we're going to stand up again and move on with God's guidance, I know for sure our way would become greater and our way would really prosper because God is there leading us and guiding us. Kaya guys, let's ask forgiveness kung ano yung mga idols na ni worship natin. No? Money could be a form of idol. No, Yung trabaho natin could be a form of idol. Yung family natin could also be a form of idol. But let's worship only God. No? Ang dami nating idol. Maski yung cellphone mo, baka naging idol mo na yan. <laughs> Kasi you always spend time with your cellphone. Yung mga games, yung kung ano-ano na lang mga... Titingnan natin kaya nagiging idol siya. No? Idol, guys, is the thing that grabs us from our relationship with God. Hey right, guys, let's now proceed to the two question. How is it possible to abuse God's grace? Yes, in abuse natin. Ah, ano naman si Lord eh? Uh, he will always forgive us kaya yun. Abuse talaga yung grace ni Lord. No? Saka na tayo mag, ano, mag, mag-confess kung ano na, matanda na tayo. <laughs> Pero, as I said before, guys, no, many want to seek God at 11th hour, but they die at 10.30. Kaya kailangan tayong ready, always ready, in season or out of season. Second question, what step can you take to break free of sinful habit and experience is forgiveness? As much as possible, guys, no, uh, let's change our mind if that thought would come our mind. Let's change it, no? Madivert man natin yung mga iniisip natin, di ba? In order for us not to lead into temptation. I guess let's not pray. Dear God, thank you for your gracious presence in our life. We don't want to live in habitual sin. Help us to feel the freedom that comes when we confess our sin and you erase it completely. Amen and Amen. Yes, guys, God is a God of many chances. God would give us a chance again to do His thing. Amen and Amen. God bless us all, guys, because I know God surely bless us 10 times better. This is again, the Service TV. Kita-kita tayo muli. Tangan sa muli. Paalam!